Well, hello y'all, it's Saturday. I know my camera is not the great quality it is. So when I look back at the videos, it don't be looking right. But my iPhone storage is, a, is obviously full. So I'm out getting ready to go out here and meet with someone today. Trying to get everything handled that I need to handle to get my kids back before Thanksgiving because this case has been going on for too long, apparently. For about good a good three months almost. My baby about to be three months and I have not got that time to spend with my baby because of this case and it's still going on and on and on and I'm tired of it. Like it's it's too much to deal with. Like literally. I don't understand how the system works when you take a person's child, children out of the home, all of them just for false allegations. But the case goes on and on and on. When is there an end? When a person snap out, you gotta call the police on them? Nah. It's going it needs to end now. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Don't forget to watch the ads. I'm basically going to be talking in this video while I'm driving to where I'm headed at. And I hope you guys continue to have a blessed Saturday. I just was on the gram um, live talking about a situation. Because, you know, a lot of my followers that support me and mine truly send me a couple videos and um, messages and you know stuff like that of that nature to let me know what's really going on in the social media life with my name being out there about uh, my children with the false allegation situation now what i want to address is um this case has been going on for approximately almost three months these kids have been out of the house for three months and i feel like when cps have your kids underneath them basically what i'm trying to say is they don't have a court order so it's underneath them it, it takes a long process to get your kids back but what i want to say is sometimes certain things in life should not be addressed or be discussed because people just take what you say back across the internet and flip it and say something bad or say something stupid and make you look bad now as a mother I've been doing this since day one. I've been there since day one. From the time my kids was in the womb, from the time I pushed them out. Like my grandma used to always say, you gotta crawl before you walk. If you put yourself on a platform, any platform, TikTok, Instagram, any, any one of those, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, and you show the world your life, people can be judgmental and say what they want to say because you got your videos or your posts or whatever out there. But that doesn't mean that you have to dwell in what a person say. You don't have to go out here and, and, and respond to every piece of negative that you can find. Because that's what people want you to do. People are about drama on the social media. They're not about trying to help you. They try to go against you, break you down mentally, physically, and emotionally. They try to tear you down everything that you're trying to do. The things that you're trying to accomplish, the things that you're trying to have. Because they don't want to see you have. Why should I stop my life because somebody say, oh, well, CPS done took her kids. Why she still on camera? Why she still out here recording? Why she still on YouTube? Why I still doing what? I got to make money. I got to make ends meet. I got bills I got to pay. I'm not going to sit up here and cry and keep bittering over no petty shit. I'm going to do what I got to do to get my kids back and prove, the, and prove myself in the world wrong. Because I know I can stand up for my rights. I know I can stand up for my kids. And I know that dealing with this case... I don't deal with CPS before, but I never deal with no situation like this. You got your enemies you got to keep close, and I keep telling people that. Like I said on my Facebook, like, your family be the main one that turn their back on you. They be the one that laugh in your face and behind your back, they talking about you. Oh, she this and she that and the third, da 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 and they'll try to find out every information they can find out about you. Like, I had a, I had a comment. I had a, uh, not a comment. I had a person that I spoke with about some stuff. And I just now remember because I'm passing the Walmart actually. And um, I'm driving. So I just passed the Walmart. I just thought about something. I had a comment. With, I mean, I, I keep saying comments. I keep reading the damn comments. Sorry. I had uh, a conversation with a person that I remember that reflect me when I read. The, the Facebook post that somebody sent me on what somebody said and all I could think about was how can family betray family how can family not lift up family members up or help them in a situation besides hurt them and drag them down deeper 
in the mud like how can you tell your family members something or talk to them about something they go out there and put you out there like that like you can't tell your family nothing like your family is the one that's out to get you they don't want to see you proper they don't want to see you they don't want to see you process they don't want to see you have they rather see you bitter like i don't understand with family like i grew up you know with my grandma and my siblings and my uncles and stuff like that and we could never get along in our household because all the things we was going through in our household so it's not like i don't know how to be family orientation because i do because i, I taught myself on how to be family orientation when i gave life to 10 children and i'm, I'm basically was in love with a man that i lived with for a certain amount of time in my life to where you know we grew together and, you know we learned how to grow with the children as well that's the only family that i had at the time when I was in a relationship and trying to make up and trying to have my family at the same time and be happy so now all I have in it now is just me and my children because it's like I can't talk to family about nothing because everything I talk to my family about is like it's back on the internet or somebody getting a dummy account and posting something stupid or saying something that that's a red flag to me every time I read something or somebody send me something I'll be like don't send me nothing don't tell me nothing about none of these apps I don't even I don't even want to dwell in none of these apps. I don't even want to talk about it because it's, it's just irrelevant to sit up here and talk about the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's like repeating yourself when you don't need to repeat or rewind yourself on anything that you're going through because the world already know what you're going through. They see what you're going through, especially when you out here talking about it and posting it every day on your platform about your life. You know what I'm saying? I can't sleep at night sometimes when I'm going through certain things in my mind like, oh, well, damn, you know, social media life got my mind fucked up. A lot of people is messed up because of social media, but they put themselves out there like I put myself out there. And it's a way you have to deal with your situation when dealing with social media. And it takes a, it takes a lot to do that. It's not easy just saying I can just jump right off social media after I don't put myself out there. It's like an addiction. Like you, you gotta be the urge to go back out there, put yourself out there. Cause you never know, it can turn into fame, it can turn into bad, it can turn into good, it can turn into anything. You know, but like I said, I can't believe family will be the one that turn, turn their back on me. They'll try to wait the good as you come up. You got money or something going on, you hit the lottery or something, they ass right there. Oh, I'm your friend, I'm here, I'll do this and that and third. They be the main one that kill you too. Your family be the main one that kills you as well. They don't care. They don't care. Only thing they care about is what they can get out of you, and then and 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 just hurt you and just treat you like a piece of shit. Like I said, my kids was a target the whole time in this situation. They wasn't supposed to be taken out of the household because of me going live and having fun. Kids do things. Laying in the bed next to my daughter every night, talking about my children and talking to her about how much fun we have in the household. The world didn't see fit. They see they see evil. They didn't see a, a mother providing or loving or doing everything she possibly can for her children they only see what they think they want to see and that's not that's not right and i feel like it's never right when a person go out there and put false allegations on someone and and just clarify that that person is not being the person that they are when these cameras are off i'm always being who i am i'm not being what people want me to be and i always been saying that there's a reason and a purpose why god still got me here and, that, and that's that's a good thing because my kids need me at the end of the day with my situation it makes me stronger it makes me a better person it makes me be who i am so i'm not worried about what the world's saying but at the end of the day i'm gonna have to start blocking out all these negative comments and moving forward with my life and focusing on my children and you know focus on my channel so i can keep this check coming in and do what i need to do i think it's the wrong one it's a business center i think it's over there on that side i'm at this place what is man doing but I'm, I'm at this place trying to get in here to see if i'm at the right place because i gotta go do this shit with these people today this a nice this, this should have been a house it's so nice in it but she knows she's about to, this, the wrong one? this can't be it i gotta look at the address on it and see what it's saying well you do gotta back up out of here Cause it will have the address on it. Uh, on it. This world is so cruel and so crazy and so evil. It makes no sense on what we go through in life. The lady sitting on the porch. I mean, what look like she's sitting on the porch. I mean, <laughs> what? Um, I think it's the next uh, plaza. I'm out here trying to do the right thing for the sake of my damn children. But I feel like it's not necessary for nobody have to go to no uh, clinic or anything just to get their kids back. Like what? Like what y'all trying to clarify? a studio and a 
fabric. Um, oh, thing over here. Maybe, maybe I gotta turn around. We hate when I'm trying to find a place and can't find it. It's annoying. What's up? Oh, what's all these restaurants and shit over here on this side? Turn this way and see if I can find it this way. That sun is out in the clouds. Is out. I like looking at the clouds. I didn't even look up until I just now, so I made a U-turn in the road trying to find this damn place and can't fucking find it. It's big out here. You see it? Step above. No, I'm reading. I thought you said it was somewhere in the Oh, that's security um, finance right there. Another one. Shit, if I decide to go get another loan, I can go right there. Right there in that plasma, we'll get another loan through security finance. They was like, Yo, um, I already got two of them already out. That's crazy. If I need a loan and something come up, shit, I'm going right there. Let me um get off this camera, y'all, and put this thing in the navigation, try to find this place before I be late and then I, I can't um, get my kids back. So let me go put this shit in the navigation. It is. Oh, excuse me. Hey, how you doing? 